Welcome back on YouTube. We are playing Civilization, and I'm actually super excited because I know I'm not showing it because again I'm kind of tired and the, the things like I'm very happy internally, but I'm actually super excited to be playing this game again. Like Civilization is one of my favorite game series out there. I've been playing it since I was a wee lad, and I've played all of them. The year is flying by, and it seems like every day is Thursday except today. <laughs> yeah, I. I think I understand that feeling, yeah. Yeah, this pandemic this pandemic BS is not is not fun for anyone. And like I'm counting my blessings, like at least at least I have a job. Like a lot of people were affected and that's that's terrible really. Um we're affected in the worst way possible and hey we've got a pantheon. Um But yeah. It's like I mean, again, like I'm okay. I'm pretty introverted, and I'm a, and I'm pretty much a house mouse. But at the same time, come on already, yeesh! Can we just get back to normal in some fashion? Okay, let's choose our pantheon. Um. So. What do we have? So we have some luxury resources over here. We're going to have some horses over here, some bonus resources here and there. Um, now, yeah, exactly. Dot sushi. Like I, I swear, I swear. And, and I'm like, I'm not a panicky sort of guy, but I am a germaphobe. So I, I just lose my stuff like whenever I go outside, like it's just, it's super, I get super anxious about it. So yeah. Um, but at least working from home is awesome. I gotta say it. Um, right. So we are, we have to choose our pantheon. What this is like, is just like a setup for our religion, right? So, um, I'm thinking, what am I thinking? So, what do we have over here? Um, so, Dance of the Aurora, we don't have Tundra Tiles. Holy Sight, uh, Desert Tiles, we don't have Desert Tiles. Adjacent Rainforest Tiles is actually good. This is, this is good. Fishing for sound. Hey, buddy. How has your... Um, aren't, aren't you supposed to be on vacation somewhere, Sunny? What you doing over here? But thanks for joining. <laughs> no, I want to be friends with the city-states. I'm looking for other civilizations to kill. But let's choose our pantheon in the meantime. So this is good because we have we have quite a bit of rainforest over here. And we actually are going to have like a holy site over here. That's going to have three adjacent rains, uh, three adjacent rainforests. Um... And, um, what? Okay, river goddess, two amenities, two housing if if they have a holy site ad district adjacent to a river. Um, you were in France back for two days now. Work starts again tomorrow. Aww, I'm sorry. But I hope you had an awesome vacation. I hope you're, you're super relaxed and, and, um, um and that you you managed to like get away from from everything and did you did you actually like get to uh write something cool with your little tiny sort of traveling setup also i need to send you an email um but spoilers we we did not win anything <laughs> just so that you know um Right, so what else? Um, super relaxing. Did write down a few ideas. Nice, nice, nice. I'm super happy for you. Um, it's good. It's good that you that you managed to, to get away and actually relax. It's uh, I'm I'm going to have a vacation ish. I mean, I'm not going anywhere, but I'm going to have a vacation coming up soon as well. Can't bloody wait. We're gonna finish setting up this place to be a more recording friendly studio and that should be pretty fun 
Yes, exactly fishing for sound. And we have to talk. We got to we got to lay out some plans, man. Um but anyway. So what else do we have here? So we don't have holy sites next to next to rivers. I don't think we will we will have any holy sites next to rivers. It seems like uh this doesn't seem like something that is super good in our situation right here. Monument to the gods, wonder building. I'd love, love, love to get some wonder building done. But we'll see. Div Divine Spark is always good and could help us to get an early religion as well. We don't have Desert Floodplains Marsh Oasis. We're going to have some... Don't worry, Fishing for Sound. Thanks for joining anyway. Like, idle away. Have fun. Um... We're gonna have some fishing boats, but not that, not too much. But they, they're good. Like this is good. This is good. God of the Craftsman is good, but we only have one strategic resource so far. So I don't know if that'll be super useful. Um, quarries. We're gonna have like a ton of quarries over here, but uh, I don't know if we'll actually be able to make use of them. Um, what else? God of War. Bonus faith equal to 50% of the strength of each combat unit killed within 8 tiles of a holy site district. Eh. Free builder. We got free builders. We should be fine. City patron goddess. This is... I, I, I like this as well, especially when building like the first districts, but... An earth goddess should also be cool. Now, I think... I mean, for me, it's a toss-up between like Divine Spark, um, God of the Sea... Um, but how many like fishing boats are we going to have? So God of the Sea is out. Then so Divine Spark. Um, or Sacred Path. Now Divine Spark is good in all cities. Sacred Path is really going to be useful in like two or three cities. I would I would wager. Let's let's try divine spark. I would really like to boost that early early religion, um, and great scientists are just too good to pass up. So we're gonna go with divine spark. Now, what you're probably wondering, what is my sort of long term play? I have no idea. I'm just gonna play, and we're gonna try to win, and we're gonna try to figure out what we're going to be going for anyway. Because Gilgamesh is not, he doesn't strike me as as a leader where i know exactly what i'm going to go for i would have loved an early war and i would have and i and i think and i think we're gonna have to go for like a science victory or something but we'll see crap on a stick where did you pop up from friend hello friend now this is quite unfortunate because um all of my units are kind of really out of position um, I could bring back this, but I could. Mm. I would really like to not lose this builder. That would be nice because I want to chop this off. So theoretically, they sh shouldn't be able to enter because they use one movement point and they would need like two more to enter over here. I'm just going to have to risk it, man. So I'm going to chop down this force. It's going to generate 43 production for us. And this holy site is 78 production, so that's like half its time already shaved off. So I'm going to pop it down here. Okay. Let's skip your turn. Um, I'm going to leave you to heal over here, and we're going to see. Don't lose the builder. Don't lose the builder. What happened? I didn't lose the builder. Hey, that's lucky. Um, what else? So, let's go in here. Let's just, let's just have this builder sit tight. Because he has like another charge and I'd like to use it to fix stuff in case the volcano, volcano goes bonkers again. Volcano? <laughs> Did I just add like one of those um, Spanish ñ sounds? Like el niño? 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 I, I is it Spanish or is it Portuguese? I have no idea. Anyway, what am I even talking about? Um, hey, somebody built a great bath. This is why I never 
Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. Okay, cool. So now we can upgrade our slingers to actual archers, which is great. Now I'd like to get bronze working online to see if we can. Oh, and our our holy site is actually done now. In now I could, I think. What am I going to do? Um, can I buy a settler? Oh my god, so expensive, so expensive. Okay, so I'm gonna. I could buy the granary. Get some more housing, get some more food, grow my city even more. And I think I'm going to do that. And I'm going to build the shrine. Yes. So I'm going to buy the granary. I'm going to build a shrine. And then I'm going to build a settler. This is what we're going to do. Okay, cool. Right, and we should already be generating like faith and great people points. Now let's see, let's look at the religions tab. Nobody has founded a religion yet, so we're gonna be among the first, hopefully. Um, nobody's generating great people points. Wait, I was looking at it wrong. Nobody's gener generating great profit points, so that should also be good. Okay. Hmm. And the way you found a religion in this, hey. Plants and organisms that make shells, coral. Think of it as a building block. Nice. We found the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, so we earned a governor title. But we did not actually find a new secret society. Yes, it's always helpful to read the the pop-ups that, that show up, right? Now, we could get another governor, which would be good. Um, but I have no city to put them in, so I'm just gonna like go with pr uh, go with surplus logistics for Magnus and just beef him up even more, which is like 20% growth in the city. Your trade routes ending here provide plus two food to their starting city. I'm gonna confirm this. I'm gonna set it up like that. I'm gonna move back this slinger, and actually I think I would very much like to. Um, upgrade them to an archer and I'm going to use them for some barbarian busting and to get into uh, chaperone our settler my god <laughs> just like I think I blue screened a little bit anyway so barbarian busting I don't know if it's actually needed anymore um, we could go for maneuver if we wanted to build more units or a gog a gog but i think i'm just gonna like sit brain buffering <laughs> yes yes exactly Oof. my whole body hurts like yesterday we we just woke up and started working on on the house and stuff like that hey Dran dragon zabwa thank you so much for hosting me hey welcome cheers um so I don't know exactly what I, I don't need these two are not producing units. I'd rather be safe just in case I have some bar barbarians I need to kind of deal with. Right. Um, so I'm going to leave it as it is right now. And I'm going to continue to explore. OK, for our next civic, I'm going to go. Hey, and thanks for the follow dragon Zabwa. Dragon X A B A W A. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. This is super nice. Um, I'm gonna go with, uh, with I'm gonna start sort of researching foreign trade just to get ready if we want a trader after we sort of found our second city um, state workforce would also be good because it can give us like it gives us like another governor title and we could set up a government plaza it also allows us to reduce the maintenance of our units by one gold and um, we could get like a boost to to wonder building as well but I'm gonna wait a little bit with state workforce for now um, just to get that foreign trade up and running I think we need foreign trade if we are to go for political philosophy no we need state workforce if we are to do that so maybe actually the good thing would be to go to that but I'm gonna put in some turns into uh, foreign trade just to have it ready because to boost it we need to discover a second continent and uh, Gosh darn it, I should move away from that freaking volcano. Jeez. Okay. Um, 
and we should um, be discovering a second continent pretty soon i would hope hey we found we found him okay i'm just gonna chill over there okay got 40 gold cool that means that we can actually upgrade our slinger to an archer <laughs> use the volcano to dispose of heretics fun fact dot sushi I know one thing about one of the latest DLCs. I know that there is like an event where you can actually yeet your your uh, your units into volcanoes. So you can actually sacrifice your units to the gods. Nice, yes. <laughs> okay, so we got some dust storms over there for some reason. Oh, we have one desert tile. Actually, that desert tile is good because we can build the pyramids on it, I would say. And we are not really using it for anything else anyway. Okay, this Great Barrier Reef is going to be like an amazing spot for a city, actually. Even though it's going to be right next to a volcano again, it should be a super spot to set up a campus, actually. What did this give us? I think it gave us yields. Oh, yes. Look at that. Science and food. Nice. So I'm just going to park my scout over here and just let him heal for a bit, although I should keep scouting to get that blinking second continent. Um, let's keep going. And what else? I'm gonna, we're just going to keep going. We're just going to keep going. And you can see already we, we are... Is the mirror of the form. Okay, let's see if we have iron. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to hold that thought. Iron, iron, iron. Oh, yes! Oh, yes, we can work with this, lads and lasses. Yes, we can. Did I just misclick again? My angle on my mouse is super weird. Hold on. I think this is why I keep misclicking. Come on, mouse. Come on, work with me here. Okay. Now then, um, you don't need to go all the way to the other side of the map. Um, actually, I don't have anything else to do with this warrior, so I think I'm gonna put him over here to do some barb busting, really. Um, anyway, what I was about to say is that... I forgot. Holy crap, I forgot what I was, what I was about to say. Uh, yeah, never mind. Oh, I did that. Oh, it doesn't appear. Okay, because I'm capturing the window. But yeah, um, I forget what was about. What the heck? I was talking about something, but I don't remember what. Anyway, we should be fine. Now for our next research. Um, we don't have any boost for anything, so um, I'm gonna hard research irrigation. And why, why I'm going to do that is because I want to get this uh, tobacco online as a luxury resource, which is going to give us amenities, make our citizens happy and more productive. So this is why uh, I want to do that. Okay. We found our second continent, I would say. Okay. Um, naval units don't really need them. Uh, we don't have any trade routes. We're going to leave this as it is for now. Wait, did we just re hard research foreign trade or did we actually find a second continent? No, we did not. Did, did I did I forget to switch? I think I forgot to switch. Let's go for state workforce so that we can uh, move towards political philosophy. And what political and why am I aiming for political philosophy? Well, it's actually because if you look over here, you can see that we get we get three new government um, options. So we can actually switch over to a new government, which allows us to have more slots in here and have more policies and just have a better empire overall. So my sort of uh, settler is ready. So I'm going to move this archer preemptively to kind of get, uh, to kind of make sure that our settler is going to be protected. And now we can actually build something. So the Temple of Artemis, Camp Pasture and Plantation provides one amenity. Now, the only camp I have is over here, and I don't think we're going to have, like, another one. I would very much appreciate meeting another Civ already, so I can get that boost to riding, get another uh, Envoy with Laventa, and also so that we can build our campus over here, but I guess we'll just have to wait for that. Um, what else I could build in here would be an encampment, but I'm not going to do that. 
um, because there's no need. We're not like we're not at war. We're not going to be at war anytime soon, I would wager, because I think that we're just on this island by our lonesome. So we're going to need to get some coastal cities up so that we can build ships and go and find some people to, to mess around with. Now, another thing that we could do, we could just like we could build another settler. And I think that's what we're going to do. Um, it doesn't decrease our population and we can just have more cities. More cities is should be generally a good idea as we have more people to to work tiles generate production generate food generate science um let me just check m what my citizens are working just to make sure so this is this is good this is okay this is okay um this is not so much but eh, what you gonna do okay cool um and we're gonna fund our second city there it is we got our boost towards early empire as well. Got a boost to sailing because we founded our city. We founded our city on the coast over here. Okay, I'm gonna delete this pin. I'm gonna move this archer out to here to kind of see what they can see. Um, I'm gonna leave this this warrior over here, and we should be fine now. Over here in Nippur, we definitely need a builder pretty gosh darn quick. But it's going to take quite a while to build. Um, and it's pretty costly as well. Um, what tile are you working? You're working the horse tile. This is great. I would... We're just going to have to... <laughs> we're just going to have to... Um, to settle for that. Although I think actually working this tile is going to be better. We're going to grow a little bit slower. Um, hey... As you can see over here, but at the same time, we will be able to produce quicker. You can see we shaved like quite a few more turns off this builder. So I'm going to get that builder um, just so that we can set up the horses, the, the maze over there as well. And uh, we'll see if we can do some fishing boats over here. And we're going to get sailing to do that. Now, I'm going to leave this warrior over here. Dang, more iron. Nice. I'm going to leave this archer over here and we're just going to sit tight for now. We're just going to wait to to set up a more to set up another city. And of course we get a major flood. Of course we do. Like ha have you have you met my luck? Okay. We got fertilized, which is good, but we did get some damage to our city and to our archer over here. I would say a dam would be a good idea at one point. Now what else? Thousands have lived without love. Okay, please stop flooding. Just stop. Okay, so we got irrigation, which means that we can get this builder over here. Um, let's get sailing. Just so that we are prepared to work this crab style later on. Um, what did I want to look at, actually? Hmm. I wanted to check something, but I don't remember what it was. It's fine. It's fine. It's going to be fine. Right. Um, okay, cool. So we've got another settler up and running. Now, I could settle over here uh, and get the, the Great Barrier Reef. But before I do that, I think I'm just going to go and set up this. Oh, uh, Oh, yes. I remember. I would like to explore down here as well. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set up a city over here just so that I have these, these production tiles, these high value production tiles to work. Um, theoretically they can be accessed by Nippur as well, but, or would the better option actually be to set, so if I set up this city over here, I wouldn't be able to set up one over here to kind of connect these two. Yeah, I'm actually thinking strategically, like if I'm going to go for like a pretty mu like with a lot of navy and stuff like that, having a city on this on these tiles over here so that we can actually connect the two seas over here would actually the two oceans or seas or whatever would actually be a good idea. So if I set up my city over here, there's going to be one, two, three. Mm, what is the distance? One, two, three. Right. So I could set up my city over here and another one over here theoretically um 
it's going to be a bit tight. But I think it should be a good fit. Now, another thing that I could do is that I could take my settler over here and set up another city over here so that I can get this iron before they get it. And I have a pretty good spot for a campus as well. But again, a lot of volcanoes. We have a lot of volcanoes. So um, I'm not super sure how we should go about it. So um, I think I'm going to go over here and set up this city over here just to make sure that we've got that going. Um, I'm going to build this plantation over here. We're going to get some more gold for that. We have the ability to get another governor. Now, I know that Nippur is going to have a harbor and a commercial zone. So it, since I know that, um, we could get Reyna and get Harbor Master, but it's a bit early for that. So until then, what I could do is I could set up... So Liang, all builders get one build charge, production towards constructing districts, aquaculture, and all of that good stuff. Um, there's really nothing more that I want from Magnus right now. Uh, Pingala is always nice, but unfortunately I'm not like super, I'm not generating science or culture right now. Um, so what I am going to do is that I'm going to get a governor. I think I'm going to get Liang and just set her up over here in, in Nippur. We're going to get an extra builder charge from that. Um, so that should be fine. Now early empire or mysticism if i were to go to political philosophy i do need early empire so we're gonna go with early empire mysticism is also nice but eh, not super required right now so we finished another settler we can now build our government plaza if we wanted to but i don't want to right now i could build the hanging gardens and this would open us up actually to to set up some more um to set up like a culture, um, a culture district and stuff like that. But I don't think I will do that. I think I'll just keep pumping out settlers for now. Now we're playing a pretty peaceful game. I would have loved some war, but unfortunately, it's a. Uh... Again, you saw me do it. Like I did it on camera, right? I set everything up to be random. The ancient era will end in turn in ten turns, and this is quite unfortunate because. We didn't actually get to to use our, our war carts and stuff like that. Hopefully, we, we'll be able to still get some use out of them in the next era as well. We'll see. Gentle eruption. Large may venture more, but little boats. And it destroyed our stuff over here. So we're going to need to get a new builder up and running over there. How much is a trader? 200 gold. We're going to have to wait. Um... Right, so I'd love to get uh, writing. Um, what else could we get? We could get masonry, but I want to wait for the for the boost for that. We could. We're gonna mine a resource, get the wheel. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're gonna start putting some turns in some text, and we're gonna switch off of them at the point where if we get the boost, it just finishes. So I'm gonna set up masonry. Um. Okay, we got a builder over there. Okay, cool. Let's get these horses. Boosted horseback riding. And we've got our great prophet, actually. Zoroaster. And now we can fund our religion. Um. What do we want? What do we want to build in Nippur? We could set up another monument. So let's do that. Let's get some culture going. Um, we've got housing for now, so we should be fine. Um, we are generating food, and now, like, we should be working these two tiles. I'm gonna lock these two in just to be safe, and we're gonna move on. Right over here in Kish. Um, again, I would very much appreciate a builder. Let's make sure that we are working in the tiles with a lot of production. Um, actually, let's get this one online. 
I would have loved this science, but this is just going to have to do for now so that we can shave some turns off that builder. Um, is it actually working though? So that's 16 turns. It's still 16 turns. Are you kidding me right now? No, that's 21 turns. Oh, you're lying to me, game. You're lying to me. Okay, no, don't go to religion. Let's keep over here to our citizen view. What the heck is happening, game? Okay, let's unlock you. Let's lock you. Let's check. 13 turns. Yeah, so we got three turns off that builder. Okay, now we're going to move our, our, our profit over here. And we're going to build our... Um, um, we're going to find our religion. And we're going to call this religion... Hmm. Hmm. What should we call our religion? Too on, too on the nose, too obvious, too easy. Hold on. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> we could call it the Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, we're going to call it Call of Cthulhu. And for our symbol... And for our symbol... Uh, we're just going to go with the waves. Ah, crap. I need to write it again. Cthulhu. There you go. I would have loved to have like an octopus or something, but I, this will just do. Now, we need to choose the beliefs, the tenets of our religion. We need to see what could help us out. So, um, amenities from two specialty districts is nice. Work ethic is nice. Holy sites districts, uh, faith adjacency bonus provides production as well. This is good. Um, shrines and temples provide three food and three and two housing each. This is great as well because it can really help our cities to grow. Um, or we could get extra culture from our from our um, holy sites, right? Um, or we could be able to purchase campus and theater square district buildings with faith, which is again. This is great because instead of wasting, uh, using our production to build those, we could be using faith and we could use that production for something else. So, but I think I just, considering that we started in a lot of flat lands with a lot of food, um, I would think, like, I'd like my cities to grow, like, a lot. But also this extra production is nice as well. Unfortunately, we don't have good good places for holy sites where we can actually get some some bonuses out of them some proper bonuses so i'm gonna go with feed the world and we're just gonna like build like grow our cities to to obnoxious proportions okay um okay and we need to select like another one um we could select so we could select like a building right so we could build meeting houses for extra production which i think would be good um amenities and extra science is nice as always and i think so we need to select like between production or science really i think these two are the contenders for me um yeah so uh, i mean production we can get so easily L let, let's do the science let's do the science let's be cultured okay cool Cool, we got some error score from that. Okay, boosted towards theology. That is good. We have, we now have our religion. We just need to spread it. So if I go over here, um, I can actually get, what does this? A soothsayer, an apocalypse mode specific support unit can cause, can use the cause disaster action to begin a random disaster in the hexes near the unit. Doing so destroys the soothsayer if it has no more charges. I don't know why you would do that, but I guess we'll find out. Um, I would like to get my missionary up and to spread this religion to my other two cities as well so that, so that they can reap the benefits as well. 
Um, now I will I will set up this maze, and I'm gonna move uh, this missionary over here. And we're gonna spread that religion like fine butter. We're gonna spread that religion. Look back over the past. Okay. Now let's look over here. So I could reduce my unit maintenance, which I would very like, very much like to do. Uh, we're not fighting barbarians. We're not producing a lot of units. We could plop in maritime industry, industry so that we can build ships faster and get some bonuses and some boosts as well. I'm not building ships right now, so I guess that's just going to be fine. Um, I could speed up production of my builders, which we know that we are doing. We are we are setting up builders in two cities. P potentially a third one is coming, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. Um, Or, I don't know. I, you know, urban planning just has more benefits for more cities for me right now. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Because this is, instead of boosting production on, on sort of um, one, like one or two cities at a time when we're just setting up builders, this is boosting production in all the cities for everything that we're building. So I like that. Um, let's do that. We're going to get some more gold. Ah, just one unit of gold. We don't have too many units built. Now, um, yeah, for Liang, we are going to get the uh, bonus production to, to districts because we are actually going to be going towards uh, celestial navigation and setting up a harbor and stuff like that over here. Um, we, we'll put one more turn into masonry and then we'll switch off it. Just set up a farm over there and over here. Let's missionary. Yeah, do it. Now, um, political philosophy I want so bad that I'm not even going to look at, at at mysticism. Just just get it. Just get it. Because I want more slots so that our empire could be a lot better. Now, um, what else I can do is I can chop down this forest because I know that... Um, I know that over here we're going to have like a commercial district, but I, I'll hold off on that when we're actually building the harbor. And the reason why I'm putting a commercial, a commercial district over here is that it, it's going to get a boost from the harbor. And, we're, and when we're going to put in Reyna as well over here, she has Harbor Master, which creates like double adjacency bonuses for both the harbor and the commercial district. So it, all of these things connect to such a fashion that this city is going to produce so much gold for us it's it's just unreal now what else we can do is that we can build a ziggurat we can get some error score for that we could or we could set up a farming triangle now i don't want to set up a ziggurat in here because these are actually super high value food tiles so i'm gonna build it over there It won't let me actually build the ziggurat over there. It wants the floodplains, doesn't it? Okay. In that case, we're going to set up the farming triangle over here. And we're going to build the ziggurat over here. It's uh, it's what we can do. The best we can do. And we're going to get some error score for that. Hopefully sufficient that we can... Um, uh, that we can get a golden age next age. Now, um, what other missions? Heavy chariot... Uh, campus and Eureka for writing. Now, unfortunately, we need to actually meet someone in order to get that Eureka for writing. But we'll see. Now, we've got another settler up. Um, I could build down here. And I, and in fact, I think we will. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a good harbor spot um, over here. But at the same time, this should be a pretty good place to have like a lot of production. And we could set up like a campus over here and get some tiles from, from Leventa as well. Let's see. Um, let's move the archer down just so that we have we don't have any surprises. Now, um, we could build the Watt, but we need a temple in order to do that. Hold on. The temple... Do, don't we get the... We should be able to get the temple temple the heck the temple requires holy side theology oh we need to get theology in order to get temples okay hey horseradish how you doing
<laughs> okay, nice, nice. Thank you so much, Horseradish. Cheers, don't worry about it. Let me cut the video for YouTube here. Cheers, thank you for watching.